uh, in the previous lectures we have also seen uh, how to calculate the area using the single as well as double integrals now we will see how can you how can we calculate the volume using the triple integrals we already know how to calculate the volume using double integrals so that is simple suppose you are given this function f of x y bounded between bounded by the region in two dimension so that means in x and y plane right so in that case you will write the limits of x the limits of y and then your function f of x y dy or dx so this represents the volume so using to, uh, double integral you have this function and the limits then this is volume but how do you calculate the volume using triple integrals your triple integrals also represent the volume how whenever you just tell uh, you just take the functions value f of x y to be or f of x y z to be equal to 1 and you define the region bounded by bounded in three dimensional plane in 3d space not plane space so whenever you take the function to be equal to 1 then your triple integral of the function dx dy dz this represents nothing but the volume of the given region bounded by the given curves in three dimension space whatever are the limits given to you in three dimension space so this is how you define the volume using triple integrals so let us see one question relating to this so the question is we have to find the volume find the volume of the tetrahedron of the tetrahedron which is bounded by the planes x is equal to 0 y is equal to 0 z is equal to 0 and x upon a plus y upon b plus z upon c is equal to 1 so these four planes are given to you so you have to calculate what is the volume which is bounded by the uh, of the tetrahedron bounded by all four of these planes so now the first step is to visualize the given area so how can you visualize this area so let's visualize this step by step suppose this is a coordinate axis so let me draw four coordinate axis so it would be more easier to look at all these planes simultaneously okay so when we are saying say this is x this is y this is z in every plane so x y and z x y and z and this point is origin now whenever we are saying x is equal to 0 x equal to 0 means so what is what what is your plane x is equal to 0 the plane x is equal to 0 means we are x is 0 so we are basically in y z plane for this the value of x is 0 right so this is your plane x is equal to 0 what is your plane y is equal to 0 the plane y is equal to 0 means we are talking about this particular plane because here the value of y at every point is equal to 0 right so the plane here is y is equal to 0 and what is the plane z is equal to 0 the plane z is equal to 0 means we are talking about this xy plane so this is your plane this plane is z is equal to 0 and the fourth plane x 
अपॉन ए प्लस वाई अपॉन बी प्लस जेड अपॉन सी इज इक्वल टू वन सो वॉट इज वॉट आर द पॉइंट्स दैट दिस प्लेन पास इज थ्रू सो लेट मी राइट इट अगेन हेयर द प्लेन इज दिस वन एक्स अपॉन ए प्लस वाई अपॉन बी प्लस जेड अपॉन सी इज इक्वल टू वन दिस इज द प्लेन इफ यू टेक द फर्स्ट पॉइंट एक्स एज जीरो वाई पॉइंट एज जीरो सो वॉट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ जेड दैट इज इक्वल टू सी इफ यू टेक the point x as 0 the point z as 0 what is the value of y that is b and if you take y and z as 0 what is the value of x here that is equal to a so that means uh, it will pass through all these three points so let me draw it here suppose here this point is at a distance this point is at b distance and at this point we have c distance so your plane passing through all these three points would be like something like this right it could be anything not like this exactly it would be like this right something like this so this would be your plane so now this is your plane x upon a plus y upon b plus z upon c is equal to 1 now the tetrahedron which is formed by the intersection of all these so you will take the intersection of all these planes so you will have a definite volume so you have to calculate a definite uh, shape right so you have to calculate the volume of that shape that shape is given to be a tetrahedron okay so let's do it let's calculate the volume so what what would what would be the required volume that would be equal to the triple integration of the function 1 dx dy dz and here we will write the limits of d x y and z so for that we'll first write all the points x y z such that what is given to us x is greater than equal to 0 y is greater than equal to 0 z is greater than equal to 0 and we have the points x upon a plus y upon b plus z upon c less than equal to 1 so this is the given volume and these are the given points so accordingly we can convert our limits here so this is converted to the limits of z here then the limits of y here and then the limits of x here 1 into dx dy dz so for that we'll convert the limits firstly we have to write the limits of x and it may contain both y and z so here in this case the lower limit is 0 so we can directly write 0 for the upper limit we'll use this curve right so for the upper limit if i write x upon a plus y upon b plus z upon c less than equal to 1 so from here i can calculate what is the value of x so this is equal to a multiplied by 1 minus y upon b minus z upon c this quantity so this comes out to be your upper limit here so its value is a into 1 minus y upon b minus z upon c similarly for the lower limits of y this would be the lower limit of y 0 and for uh, the upper limit of y we will again consider this x upon a plus y upon b plus z upon c is equal to less than equal to 1 and here in this case we do not want x to appear here so we will not take this term so from here we can calculate what is y y comes out to be b into 1 minus z upon c so this is our upper limit for in the case of y so we have b into 1 minus z upon c and similarly for z the upper limit lower limit is this one 0 and for the upper limit we will again consider this x upon a plus y upon b plus z upon c is equal to 1 so that means we can calculate from here we do not want here we do not want y and we do not want x so we only want z so the upper limit for z is equal to c 
so this becomes your upper limit so now you can very easily compute this integral right so okay so the next uh, the only thing that is remaining here is to solve this particular integral triple integral over here so we have to in order to find this integration we have to solve this integral so let's do that so let me write it again here this integral so we wanted to calculate integration from 0 to c integration from 0 to b into 1 minus z upon c integration from 0 to a into 1 minus y upon b minus z upon c into dx dy dz that is equal to integration from 0 to c of the quantity second integration limit would come as such so firstly we'll perform the integration with respect to x this much portion so that would be equal to x and the limits are from 0 to a 1 minus y upon b minus z upon c dy dz as such so we can substitute the limit so this would be equal to integration from 0 to c integration from 0 to b 1 minus z upon c and then the values are a into 1 minus y upon b minus z upon c dy into dz the next task is to solve this particular limit so this thing is equal to we have integration from 0 to c and then the limits are from here a is constant so this could be taken out now the term with respect integration is performed with respect to y so that means this and this are constant with respect to y so we have 1 minus z upon c into y and then the integration of y upon b is equal to y square by 2b and here we will substitute the limits of y that is equal to 0 to b 1 minus z upon c and integration with respect to z is remaining okay so uh, in that case we have a when you substitute the limits so you have 1 minus z upon c as such the value of b into 1 minus z upon c so that means this quantity is b into this quantity square when you substitute the lower limit this quantity would be equal to 0 and for the second term 1 by 2 b as such and then when you substitute the limit so you have b square 1 minus z upon c whole square and when you substitute 0 you have 0 here so this is the term so here this b and b cancel so we can take one b outside so it would be a b and uh, we have the value this is equal to 1 by 2 integration 0 to c 1 minus z upon c whole square d z now we have to take the integration with respect to z so this would be equal to 1 minus z upon c whole cube divided by minus 3 upon c and the limits of z varying from 0 to c so this simply becomes equal to when you substitute the upper limit so you have a b c divided by minus 3 and when you substitute the upper limit uh, instead of z as c so this term becomes 0 and when you substitute 0 you have the value as 1 so 0 minus 1 so finally your answer is equal to 1 by 6 a b c so we can have a look at one more question so write down the statement the question is find the volume find the volume common to the cylinders common to the cylinders x square plus y square is equal to a square and another cylinder is given to be x square plus z square is equal to a square in this case we have to determine the volume common to this particular region so for that we are seeking for the volume of the surface dx dy and dz then what is this volume it contains all the points x y z such that the limits are 
we have to determine what are the limits according to this so that means we are looking for the limits of x the limits of y and the limits of z so for that we can take we can evaluate using this expression x square plus y square is equal to a square we can evaluate the limits of y in terms of x so it comes out to be y is equal to plus minus square root of a square minus x square and from here the value from the second curve x square plus z square is equal to a square we can calculate the value of z that is equal to plus minus square root of a square minus x square okay so that means we clearly have the limits of y which are from minus of this quantity minus a square minus x square to the plus of this quantity and the limits of z they are also from this minus of this quantity to plus of this quantity a square minus x square and now we wanted the limits of x such that it may be independent of both x as well as both both y as well as z so that means if in this case if in this curve we eliminate if we eliminate y so we have x square is equal to a square or in other words you have the limits of x from minus a to a and similarly here also if you eliminate z so you again have x square is equal to a square so your limits are according to this so that means what is our v here we wanted to calculate integration from minus a to a integration from minus a square minus x square to plus a square minus x square and integration uh, minus square root of a square minus x square to square root of a square minus x square and then we have dz dy and dx so here this thing is equal to minus a to a these limits as such and then we will here have the value integration of 1 with respect to z is z and when you substitute these limits so you will have 2 into square root of a square minus x square and dy and then dz and when you again take the integration with respect to y because this is constant with respect to y so if this is equal to minus a to a 2 square root of a square minus x square and then the integration uh, is y and when you substitute these limits again so this quantity would be equal to again 2 times of square root of a square minus x square so this is what you have so this simplifies to 4 outside integration minus a to a a square minus x square dx now because this is an even function so that means we can write this to be 2 times that means 8 here integration limits changes now from minus a to a instead of 0 to a so you have a square minus x square dx and what is the integration its integration is very simple 8 a square x minus x cube by 3 and the integration limits from 0 to a so your final answer come out to be 16 a cube by 3 and let us have a look at one more question the question is we are to calculate the volume bounded by the cylinder x square plus y square is equal to 4 and the planes y plus z is equal to 4 and z is equal to 0 so here in this case what would be our given volume we have to first determine determine the limits of integration so for that we will define our region v volume v so we will write the limits of x the limits of y and then the limits of z what would be these limits now you have to see from here the values of x y z so from here from if you look at these two things you can have a clear uh, look that the limit z could be find uh, found in terms of y so that means you could write the limits of z they vary from from here you can calculate the values of 
z so that comes out to be 4 minus y so this is the limit of z for the limit of x we will use this expression x square plus y square is equal to 4 so from here we can calculate what is the value of y that comes out to be 4 minus x square square root plus minus so that becomes the limits of y in terms of x so that means uh, here the limits are minus square root of 4 minus x square and square root of 4 minus x square positive quantity now z's limits are in terms of y y's limits are in terms of x so that means x limits sh should be constant so what what are the limits of x for that again we'll use this curve x square plus y square is equal to 4 now we do not require y because we want the uh, limit for x which are required to be constant so we have x square is equal to 4 so that means we have x is equal to plus minus 2 so the limits of x they come out to be this one so once you have the limits what what is your volume your volume in this case becomes equal to the volume that becomes equal to x varying from minus 2 to 2 dx and then the limits of y they varying from minus integration x 4 minus x square to square root of 4 minus x square dy and then the integration with limits with respect to z that is 0 to 4 minus y of the function 1. So this is what we are required to calculate here. So let's perform this integration. So this thing becomes equal to z and the limits of z are 0 to 4 minus y. Other quantities, the integration with respect to y and x would be as such. So we have 4 minus x square and dx integration limits from minus 2 to 2. So this quantity becomes minus 2 to 2 minus square root 4 minus x square 2 square root 4 minus x square and 4 minus y dy and dx so now what is this quantity here we have to perform the integration with respect to y so this becomes equal to now this is an odd function right this is not an odd function so here what we have we will do we will just so this just becomes equal to we can separate out these terms uh, minus square root of 4 minus x square square root of 4 minus x square 4 take, could be taken out dy dx and then we have minus of minus 2 to 2 minus square root of 4 minus x square to square root of 4 minus x square y dy dx now because this is an odd function therefore its integration from same limit to same limit becomes zero so we have this quantity and its integration would be y so this becomes equal to 8 times integration minus 2 to 2 of the quantity 4 minus x square dx and we know we now have to perform the integration with respect to x so we know this formula integration of a square minus x square with respect to x that is equal to x upon 2 square root of a square minus x square and then we have plus a square by 2 sine inverse x upon a so using this formula we have 8 as such and then its value is equal to x divided by 2 square root of 4 minus x square plus 4 divided by 2 sine inverse x upon 2 and the values of x they varying from minus 2 to 2 so that means we now have to substitute the limits when you substitute the upper limit here this quantity becomes 0 when you substitute the lower limit this quantity also becomes 0 right so you have the first uh, here 0 and this term is 2 sine inverse of when you substitute the upper limit this becomes 1 and when you substitute the lower limit it becomes minus 1 so finally when you solve this your answer is equal to 16 into 5 so this is what you have as your answer so i hope you got this concept of calculating volumes using triple integ integration well uh, that is it for this video thank you for watching